Hello, radiant souls of the light. Thank you for being here with me this evening for another beautiful soul to soul interaction. I love being live with you each week. It's our opportunity to check in and to listen to the deeper messaging that's incoming from soul and the spiritual realm so that we have greater direction and clarity on our human path. Because those answers, that direction, it's flooding in constantly, but picking up on it and then acting on it, that's the key. And that's part of the journey of life. This evening, we're going to be speaking about something so important that when you follow it, it can change your life for the greater good. We're going to be speaking about opening up to the possibilities, not limiting ourselves, but allowing. It's a key message that's coming through right now from the spiritual dimensions, and it can change your direction in an instant. If you have choices and change right now that you may be feeling has been thrust upon you, that it's not of your choosing and you don't know what way to turn and what to do, maybe all eyes are on you, maybe your leadership is being called for and you're hesitant, then stay with me. Because not only will we identify why that's happening, but you're going to have a solution immediately that you can take action on straight after this live. Beautiful, isn't it? Leave me a comment while we are live or in the replay as well. And as always, I deeply appreciate you sharing these lives. So many people are receiving this information now and being in a space where they can pick up on their own guidance and intuition on a greater level. And that's so important. So thank you. Everything that we speak about this evening as well is included in this week's energy forecasts and life guide, the tip off. If you are a member, the all new tip off is online right now for the next seven days. Deeply effective guidance this week that will take you quite literally to the new horizon of your life. We've done so much this work, so much work this year already in 2024. Life's coming at you from all angles, the eight universal year. It's not a year to sit back and be shy and retiring. You're being thrust forward onto the center stage of life. Your personality may or may not like that, but regardless, that's what we are all facing right now. And we can do it in a way that supports us or in a way that limits us. This week's forecast will show you how to support yourself beautifully every single day. So I look forward to sharing them with you. Now, July, what a month. How have you found this July? Deeply, perhaps emotional, stirring old patterns in your life. Have situations and circumstances cropped back up? Perhaps they've been sudden, perhaps the changes have potentially come out of nowhere and yet they're just right for who you are right now and where you're heading in the future. A couple of weeks ago, I spoke about that portal of light that was opening up from July 12 right through to July 20. And I, at the time, said that the planetary alignments would be quite unlike anything we'd seen so far this year. And if you go back globally and personally from July 12 to July 20, and you look at the change that has come in by surprise, all possibilities have opened up. That has set the stage for what is to flow for the rest of this year. And that's what we're going to speak about moving forward. What actions and directions you're being guided to take. Tomorrow, uh, July 26, Chiron will be moving retrograde. 
joining uh, Pluto, Saturn and Neptune already in retrograde motion relative to Earth. So we will have four major planetary bodies on a physical level asking us to slow down and be considered in everything that we do. Being too haphazard or on automatic pilot will see you potentially making mistakes and backtracking and saying to yourself, why did I do that? I know better. And I'm sure we've all been there this month. So to avoid that and to open yourself up, consider in particular with Chiron, that great asteroid in our solar system, it's known as the planetary ruler of the 13th constellation of Ophiuchus, the serpent bearer. Now, most traditional zodiacs operate under 12 signs, not 13. But the ancients used to look at the 13 constellations in forecasting movements and influences in our lives. And 13 is that magical number that frees you up for the possibilities. It's non-conformist, whereas 12 is all about conformity and control rather than fluidity and adaptability and flexibility. The 13th energy is certainly the feminine. It's receptive, it's the unknown, it's the spiritual flow. Chiron moves into retrograde tomorrow for the next five months and all of those types of energies will be arising in your life. They already are. It takes you back to your childhood and beyond and it helps you to see the patterns that were established from your family dynamic and that you brought in with you from previous lifetimes here on Earth or elsewhere. Already you've been noticing those dynamics and they are swiftly changing. As an adult now, you are being given the opportunity to step into a new role in your life. And to do that, soul is asking us most unreservedly to be open to the possibilities that I am sending you. Now, what does that mean? Your human life is run more or less on automatic pilot by the personality, the character and the role that you play this life through. It's your persona, your personal sense of self in the physical environment. It's always with you. The soul has created it for you. It's what you know yourself to be. It's beautiful. Some people call it your ego and they diminish it. But no, personality is your human expression. It's divinely created. Now the personality is focused purely on the physical environment and it is sent messages that are downloaded onto the brain and converted into images and ideas and thoughts that are projected forward, creating that holographic reality that we're all physically residing in. But who or what sends those messages through? Why, you do. Your infinite self, the soul, which is beyond the physical dimension. In the invisible dimensions, the higher realms of light and sound. That's where you are directing your life from. It's a bizarre thing because you're directing it and you're observing it, but you're physically in it and living it. So you can feel split at times. We all do. Who am I? This physical reality or that spiritual soul self? You're both. Now what we do in our human life is we get these messages sent through and we start to create patterns and belief systems and perceptions about what our reality is and what those messages mean. And before we know it, we are on automatic pilot. We have judgments about everything. This is good. This is bad. I don't like this. I do like that. I'm not going to do this. I am going to do that. And we limit ourselves so greatly to the full potential 
of life experiences that the soul is sending us in this reality to experience. So what's the key here? Well, to be understanding that your intuition, which is where we really perceive our soul's messages from, it's real. And if you could stop every day and listen to that voice within that's advising you and guiding you, and then allow yourself to step aside and follow those instructions without over controlling them and saying no, that's when the magic happens. That's when the unexpected help arrives from all angles. That's when you're on purpose. That's when your soul's purpose is realized. That's the whole reason for being here is to allow soul's messages to be picked up, put in place and acted on. And we can all do it, but we have to consciously choose to do it. It's easier said than done. It takes a lot of practice because we're so entrained to just go off of our own beliefs. What if you decided that I am going to have my beliefs put aside for a minute and I'm going to be surprised instead? I trust myself. I trust my soul. Going forward in this last week of July into August, because that's the master manifesting month where life will be moving quickly. This is a week to practice. Start practicing stepping aside when something comes through or when something presents in your life an opportunity. And before you say no and turn your nose up at it, wait and say, okay, let's try this and go and trust and see what happens. I trust that you'll be amazed at how much easier your life flows and that the fullest potential of the universe starts to be made known to you. This is a period of time where the esoteric side of life, reality, is directing your every move. So don't be surprised if you're drawn to the spiritual more than anything right now. It's teaching us incredibly. I'm so excited for all of us. Follow into the journey, beautiful souls. It's going to take you to the wonder of life. Thank you. Thank you for being here with me this evening. Thank you for your beautiful presence on this planet and for applying yourself so well. We need you. We rise with you. And we love you. I'll see you every day in the forecasts and online and of course energetically. And until next week, as always, we'll speak again very soon.